Hi, it is Lawrence, and I am now five weeks on tea, so 35 days. No change in the voice area yet, but regardless. Today I'm going to talk about my needle phobia. Exciting. Uh, so basically, the way my phobia works is if I see a needle, I freak out. If you follow my regular blog, you probably have seen the post I put about my panic attack when I try to inject myself. Really embarrassing, but you know, it happens. I know I'm not the only guy who has a phobia of needles, but I don't see a lot about it, honestly, so I thought, you know, I would uh, tell you about it and what I do to work with it. The way my phobia works is I can be injected by a professional who I trust as long as I'm not looking. If I watch, I freak out. Nothing I can do. Now, a problem I have is that people who don't get how needle phobias work are always like, you know, just like, get over it, you know, just just do it, it's fine, and you're not getting hurt, and blah blah blah, and I know this. I know this. The problem is, is that it feels physical, not mental. Mentally, I'm telling myself it's fine, it's cool, I can do it, you know, but physically, I start getting the symptoms of my phobia. I start shaking, hyperventilating, my heart's pounding, I start sweating, and I, I freak out. There's nothing I can do. It's it feels like a completely physical reaction. Even watching somebody on television get a shot without any conscious thought, I just, you know, my heartbeat starts picking up. There's nothing I can do. Um, my theory is, is that my body probably thinks that needles are going to kill me. Uh, it makes sense that a person would have an instinctive reaction like that because in anything but a very clean clinical setting, that's just setting yourself up for a fatal infection, right? But, who knows. Anyway, that's why I can't just get over it. I can't control my body. There's nothing I can do about it. Like, calming exercises can only do so much if my body is getting all these fear symptoms. What research says about this sort of thing is that it's not a traditional phobia. Traditional therapy does not work to help you get over it. Hypnosis does not help. Therapy methods where they slowly introduce you to it and such, like, it doesn't help. Most of the literature I've read on it recommends that you keep everything in a clinical setting until you get over your phobia. And I do find that if I'm in a doctor's office, I feel a lot more comfortable than trying to, you know, do things at home. Basically, my plan is, and this is the route that um, some people go, is I'm going to try to get used to it. I'm fine now if someone I trust is doing it and I'm not looking. What I'm hoping to do is eventually maybe learn to inject myself without looking, you know? If it's just... The, the site contact that does it, there are ways to get around it. So hopefully that works after I get used to it in the first place. For other people, if the problem is the actual injection and everything, what apparently really helps is stuff like numbing creams. You know, apparently that really helps a lot of people out. So if you have this problem, and it's not just looking at the needle, it's the actual injection, try numbing creams. It's supposed to do a lot for you. So yeah, that's pretty much it. I just want people to understand that it's, it's not something that's really mental so much as an instinctive reaction and it, that's really hard to control because it's going against your natural instincts to uh, do something that your body thinks is going to be fatal or something, apparently. So there you go. That's how it is. Thank you. Um, Hi. Anyway, <laughs> and it was uh, raised and hard and doctor today for my shot. 